Hundreds of thousands of homes have been left without power in Australia and thousands of Victorians have made calls for assistance as storms caused chaos across the state. There was widespread damage in the states of Victoria and Tasmania, while a 63-year-old woman was killed after a tree fell on a cabin at a holiday park on the border between Victoria and New South Wales, emergency services said. It's a sad and tragic set of circumstances for the woman's family and my thoughts and sympathy go out to her and the emergency services who responded to that incident, Victoria Premier Jacinta Allen told a news conference. Public transport commuters were also affected by the storms, with power outages and debris on the tracks, resulting in the Sandringham line being almost completely shut down and major delays reported on the Frankston, Pakenham and Cranbourne lines, according to Sky News Australia. The southern island state of Tasmania has also been hit by wild weather, with thousands left without power. We've seen another wild night of weather across the state with extensive destruction, Mick Lowe, executive director of Tasmania State Emergency Services, told a news conference. Extreme weather events are common for many Australians. Most coastal areas saw high tides, even as residents were advised to avoid these areas due to dangerous waves and flooding. The latest storms follow unseasonably warm winter temperatures in Sydney. Australia's frequent extreme weather is exacerbated by climate change, with rising temperatures contributing to more intense storms, wildfires, and floods.